We're high above the aft deck of Falcor 2, 960 square meters of open deck space where we're going to be able to lay out almost 20 containers in different configurations. Portable laboratories, winches, other cranes, overboard handling systems, whatever the other scientists may bring on board to support their particular cruise or expedition. But also just as important and a unique feature of this ship is the crane that we're standing on right now. This crane, a 150 ton active heave compensating crane, is probably one of the largest of any research vessel in the world today. It allows us to maneuver gear and equipment, these containers, these portable laboratories. We can maneuver those and reconfigure those and stack those at sea, something that's almost unheard of of research ships today, giving us really an unparalleled capability to support the scientists in ways that we've never thought possible before. Well, I look at this ship as, as like the truck for a research vessel. You got a beautiful bed of a pickup and you can put pretty much whatever you want back there. And um, just because we're not locked into a certain way of mounting things, it's a flat, no camber, wood deck. You can slide things around. We can weld at securing points. I mean, we're about as universally adaptable as any ship there is. So um, I think that's the, that's the beauty of it. The modularity of the aft deck allows for a whole new swath of capabilities that connect the ship to the communities that we're working in, building capacity and new points of connection. One thing that's definitely exciting with this new ship is what future capabilities we will have. So not only do we have a huge, I think it's five or six times the size of the back deck of Falkor Classic, we also now have a 150 ton crane which actually can deploy a cable down to two to 3,000 meters, so we can land things in a specific position on the seafloor. So that's something that I don't think is really offered by other research vessels. So it's a pretty exciting time to see what that crane's going to be able to do um, because it hasn't been invented yet. Thinking about all of the science and outreach that we can achieve with our new research vessel brings a whole new level of excitement for our organization.